Rob Seco, Future Farm. Today's innovations, tomorrow's solutions. We've talked a lot about the different cultural practices that play factors into uniformity of emergence, but really, where are the innovations coming in? You know, some of the innovations that we're looking at, especially early in the season, and we've had a tumultuous early season this spring here in 2023, cool, wet, then warm and dry. And so around that, outside of all the physicality, there are some, there are some management practices that we can take advantage of to do in my opinion, three different things early in the season, and that, that support, that is stimulate, and that is protect. And so we, we are looking at some products that are in a dry form and a liquid form, depending on your type of application. Mm -hmm. And the foundations of those do those th three things. They support, they stimulate, and, and they protect. And one of the basis of, of the dry material, as an example, is zinc, mm -hmm. a, a, a micronutrient. And zinc it's founded with several different things. It is, a, it is a major constituent and component of chlorophyll. It is a catalyst for chlorophyll production. It also increases the utilization of sugar. So think about when you put a seed in the ground, it's not creating sugar photosynthetically. Where's that sugar at? Mm -hmm. It's only in the endosperm, so it's in right. two-thirds of the seed. So you have a very small, a very minute amount or level of sugar to energize and to make that plant grow. So utilizing the sugar is terribly important. Mm -hmm. And then also zinc will help then elongate cells once they divide. Secondly, in there we have a bacteria, a specific bacteria that's in a, that's in a classification called the M-troph. Mm -hmm. And the M-trophs are biological stimulants. Okay, so they, stir, they, they, they serve as a, an auxin or a hormone, so they help and increase the division of cells and also then the elongation of cells. So there's support, mm -hmm. there's stimulation, and now you think about protection. You're out here early. We had, we had crops sitting in the ground for 25, 26, 27 days. You need to protect that, especially from pathogens like Fusarium, mm -hmm. Rhizoctonia, and Phytophthora. This, the species of fungi that we're talking about is Trichoderma, which serves as a naturally occurring pathogen suppressant. So there you get some protection out of it. So support, stimulation, and protection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so these innovations are really supporting that systems approach to uniformity of emergence using both the cultural practices and management practices of tillage, mm -hmm. planter settings, planter speed, seed quality, and now these additional products that can help stimulate, yeah. protect, and uh, really encourage that uniformity yeah. of growth. And to work in concert with your nutrient, your fertility program, not in, not in lieu of or in place of, but to work symbiotically together. Because you know, soils are pretty evenly broken up into thirds. They're a third physical, a third chemical, and a third biological. Mm -hmm. And you have to support all three systems, especially when you look at a farm like this that has immense crop production capability, 300 bushel potential. So you've got, a, you've got high levels of all three of those components of soil mm -hmm. that you need to be able to support that type of production. Absolutely.